Hello, my sweet friends. Thank you so much for stopping by to check out today's video. I was totally inspired to create this primitive country snowman when a sweet member over in my country charm community, Miss Sweet Diane, shared a picture of her jack-o'-lanterns turned into a cute little snowman. And I said, oh my goodness, those are so cute. I absolutely love creating snowman. And since I am getting ready to uh, do an event in November, the uh, first week in November, a local event, I need to get some things done for the gift shop. And so I created a lot of these. I like to work in multiple. So that's why you will see in the video that I have multiple snowmen but I'm going to show you what I did to create this particular little cutie. So let's go ahead and get started and I will share what I did. Okay, using this little Halloween decor, um, I'm going to be painting on the back side, but I want to get some of that glitter off because uh, it's just, it's a little bit too much glitter. And when I put my scrapbook paper on, I don't want it to, uh, you can see through it if it's a little raised or embossed. And so, um, like I said here, you'll see multiples of the pumpkins in the video, but it's just because I was doing a lot of them at a time and uh, I like to do that. So um, to get my paper, my one sheet of paper is 12 by 12 and it wasn't quite long enough so I needed to adhere two of them together and then trace out my pumpkin and then I just cut that out uh, with my scissors. I'm using the plaster color Waverly chalk paint to uh, paint my snowmen and I am giving each of them two coats of the paint. Then I will adhere my uh, scrapbook paper to the back of the pumpkins is where the jack-o'-lanterns are. I want to cover up those jack-o'-lanterns. All of my scrapbook paper came from Hobby Lobby. It's the Paper Studio brand. Anyway, and so then uh, my Mod Podge, I am just adhering it. I I find it helpful to work in sections, so I just do half of the paper and then I uh, put the other half on. I'm using my roller as well as my squeegee. And then now I am going to shade my little snowman using some brown milk chocolate paint. I take a flat paintbrush and I dip half of my brush in paint, the other half in water, and I blend it there on a paper towel. All of my, uh, my favorite brushes will be linked in the description box below if you would like to know exactly which brushes I use. Okay, to add some cheeks, I am using some coral colored paint as well as a stencil brush. I just dab that on um, with the stencil brush. I like the stencil brush because it's not solid and it kind of looks a little streaky, which I like. And then I'm just nipping off the, um, the part of the hat that was from the jack-o'-lanterns because I'm not going to need that. And then now I'm going to work on the eyes. There are several ways uh, I like to do eyes, but this is my favorite. I like to pencil them on 
and then use some black paint to fill those in. And then I will use um, a thin brush, a very loved, loved thin brush, and I will make some eyelashes and I will make some eyebrows. And then also I'll work on uh, doing the nose. I like to use puffy paint for nose, uh, for my noses. And I just use uh, little squigglies by just, you know, just making sure the puffy paint is like where the paint is near the, uh, you know, end of the, the little bottle because I don't like those little air pockets that go poof, you know. Anyway, so I just make some little squiggles to make the, the nose. And then now I'm just adding some character to the eyes by just taking my brush and just adding some little white to the eyes using the end of a paintbrush to add a little dot and that gives me um, my eyes. Just using my little heat tool here to kind of set up my little carrot nose. And then I'm going to um, do my doodles with my black Sharpie marker. Uh, first I'm using the fine point Sharpie marker going all the way around. Then I will go back and on the inner side, I will use the ultra fine Sharpie marker. I like the combination that it gives uh, with the two markers together. Now I'm going to make a mouth for my little snowman. And I dip my, uh, the end of a paintbrush, I use that to make my little dots. And by dipping it every single time, it keeps my dots the same size. And then now I'm going to splatter. And just taking a stiff stencil brush and a wooden stick, I just run the um, stick across my bristles toward my body and then that then the paint goes on the project or wherever I want it to go. Then using uh, my favorite gloss varnish, it is a uh, ceramic coat Delta Creative varnish. I will have a link in the description box below. I like the glossy look, but I think they also have a matte and maybe a satin. Okay, for his little hat, I'm using a sock from the Dollar Tree, and I just had some stuffing that I just put in there to kind of give it some filler, where it kind of looks like, a, you know, a little head, and then I'm just kind of positioning it, and I have these clear rubber bands that I pick up from the Dollar Tree in the hair accessory section, and I'm just gathering that there uh, because I'm going to be putting some bells and some little ribbon. I just cut off the toe only because you know so that it's uh, I can spread it out just a little bit and then now I have this fabric from Walmart in the fabric section and uh, I'm just going to cut off some of that I'm I guess probably about two inches and I just rip it because I like the ripped edges I think it looks a little you know tattered and worn when you rip it like that it just gives those rough edges I cut off a portion of the fabric uh, just to have a little bow for the top of my little hat. But first I want to do some jingle bells. I had these jingle bells in my crafting stash and uh, I just have some wire. My favorite wire is from the Dollar Tree in the automotive section. And so I am just, you know, just securing those little bells at the top of the hat and then I will tie my little ribbon on there. Now I'm tying uh, some 
fabric around his neck for his little scarf and I'll just add some greenery and some raffia and some berries and so um, I'm just kind of playing with it here. That greenery is from Michael's. I got that last year uh, on sale on clearance after Christmas. I love the pine looking greenery. And so I'm just gonna kind of play with it here just to figure out how I want it. Um, the pit berries are from the Dollar Tree. They are new this season. Yay, because I love me some pit berries. And pit berries are very country primitive. And so, um, um, I love them, especially in my little projects. And so anyway, I'm just kind of fiddling here with the ribbon, uh, um, I mean the fabric, and just kind of making the little bow. I added some buttons as well as a rusty little snowflake that I had in my stash along with those little rusty jingle bells and my little primitive country heart is happy 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 I love this so much and I thank my member uh, sweet Diane over in the country charm community for sharing her idea now there are a couple of others uh, members in the country charm community that have uh, recreated these little stacked jack-o-lanterns into cute little snowmen anyway thank you so much for watching I appreciate your support of my channel by leaving me a sweet comment and clicking the like button and we will talk to you all very soon i am busy 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 getting things done for my craft uh, event that's coming up the first week in november so we will talk to you soon and y'all take care god bless